so I'm feeling really apprehensive about the whole thing. It's absolutely pouring down. Um, <laughs> Matthew said he's going to carry Indigo for the first leg of the journey just so that he can get 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 in to get my walking legs going because it's absolutely it's quite scary at the minute. It's pouring really pouring down, so and it's cold. So we'll see. Wish us luck. Here beginneth a 800 kilometer pilgrimage across from the Pyrenees to Santiago de Compostela on the northwest coast of Spain with family in tow. <laughs> a journey of 800 kilometers begins with a single step. You ready? <laughs> Go on. Are we going to do it? Yep. We parked the car over there and Matthew made us double back on ourselves so we could walk through the gate. <laughs> Why I let him talk me into this kind of stuff, I don't know. <laughs> Our resolve has been uh, really tested this morning. The, the weather has just been brilliant up until uh, this morning. Even this morning I looked out and was like, okay, the weather's good. And then just as we got in the car, it started raining. And when we parked up, it was lashing it down, like really raining. And uh, a couple of like moments of doubt came in, uh, but then it was just it was just a test from the universe, just a test of our resolve. <laughs> then we just, uh, you know, got things together, got out of the car, locked it up, and uh, away we go. <sighs> Looks like I'm carrying indigo after all. <laughs> Going strong. How are you finding it, Indigo? <laughs> nice and dry, nice and dry. This is our first, this is our first stop after an hour of walking. The rain has just about eased off now. A bit of sun coming through. So that's always good news. Um, Mummy is feeding Indigo. That's all our stuff. We've got a lot of stuff. That's uh, that's one of the challenges. Is, is all the stuff. Um, people generally carry like ten percent of their body weight with them, um, but I think I've got got maybe I've probably got maybe almost fifty percent of my body weight with us. Um, we just need it. It's winter time. We need warm clothes. If you have a, if you ever had a baby, you know that babies need a lot of stuff. Um, and so we've got. I'm carrying Victoria stuff. My stuff some of indigo stuff and Victoria's carrying some of uh, indigo stuff as well plus we're carrying our water and juice and food and stuff as well so uh, it's it's a lot of weight to carry so that's one of the challenges uh, so far um, the rain is a bit of a challenge but you know we can get through that and uh, of course carrying indigo at, you know he needs regular breaks and things as well so that's another uh, challenge as well um, my other challenge is my, is my shoes um, you know, not, not the ideal footwear for walking the Camino. Um, my, my boots never arrived in the post, so I said, screw it, I'll just do it in my uh, 20, uh, 20 quid shoes, plastic shoes from Tesco's, and they're now sopping wet through after the first 50 minutes of walking. Um, you never know, I might buy a pair of boots on the way. We'll, we'll see how we go. Hey, metal monkey. Hey, water dragon. So it was a bit difficult back there. We had uh, Indigo started crying, and I don't know if he was just uncomfortable or what, but um, <laughs> maybe he's teething. Um, so I thought, okay, we've only just started the journey, and he's crying, and so I wanted to step back so we, I took him out of the sling and then Matthew carried him for a bit just without being in the sling just let him walk forward and that seemed to make him happy <laughs> and then we stopped off and had a feed and now he seems comfortable and he's gone to sleep so we're good to go again <sighs> we've got into our stride now yeah You alright, my darling? I will be. 
At the minute it's just pain, but once my shoulders go numb, then it'll be good. So I just offloaded some of my weight onto Matthew. I'm like a mule. I can be loaded up with any amount of weight. No, just keep going. Just keep walking. It's it's an attitude. The attitude of the mule. Just keep going. Don't complain. There's nowhere I would rather be right now than right here. So a special walking technique for going up hills. If you take long strides, then you're using your hamstring muscle muscles more and they'll burn out quicker. So it's best to take short, little short strides and bring the knees up and then push up. Then you're using your quadriceps more and uh, you last a lot longer and uh, you'll be very powerful going up hills. Just short steps, bring the knees up, push up. <laughs> so we made it to where we made it to, which is a little place, a little town called Val Carlos in the, in the foothills of the Pyrenees. Um, we had planned to go to, um, let's just see on the map here, a place called uh, Roncevaux, which is up here. We started right down here at St. John de Pierre de Port, and we traveled up here. And we're now in a place called Val Carlos. Um, so we did about 15k today. Um, and we just decided, Tori said she'd had enough. So we didn't go any further. We could have gone to there, but it was the weather was really inclement. Uh, it lashed with rain on us uh, all day. We did four hours of walking, uh, majority, of it, majority of it uphill, some of it very steep. Uh, and with all our equipment and indigo and everything, it was it was pretty tight going. Um, and then we were just completely drenched. The, the weight of the water on us as well. Um, it was it was getting pretty tough anyway. And there was no other stops between now and Ronceval, which is so we would have had to have gone the, another 15k um, or thereabouts. So we decided which would stop here for the day, and which is great. This is an, an amazing albergue. This is specifically for pilgrims. You can only stay here for one night and these are dotted all along the way and uh, they're subsidized so this one's actually the, probably one of the most expensive ones but it's really plush. It's, uh, it's central heated, it's really warm. Let's have a look at it here. It's got all the cooking facilities, pots and pans, you can use whatever you want. Um, they even give you uh, breakfast if you want it. They give you wine, just a bottle of wine sitting there, some bread sitting out if you want to have that. Then they give you this for breakfast, tea, coffee, uh, if you want it that is. Um, and that, that's washing machine if you want to use that. You, you can dry your clothes here. Uh, that's, that's my breakfast there, a little bananas. Breakfast of champions. Um, so this is like a really plush one. Um, most of them are between three and seven euros per night, but this one's 10 euros. But I, can, I can see why, it's, uh, it's really nice. Uh, there's only one other person staying here. Um, it's a lady, she's come all the way from Korea, she's staying here. And apart from that, it's, uh, it's just us. And uh, in the, hello. Indigo and Victoria. Oh, sorry. Um, so you can see we've put the mattresses down on the floor here. Which is uh, you could you could never you could never do this in uh, you know spring spring summer or autumn uh, we could only do this in the winter and that's one of the reasons why we decided to do this in the winter is uh, much easier with a baby you can imagine this is completely crowded out in uh, any other season apart from winter and so we couldn't have you know made it like our home like like we have done. Um, so that's one of the reasons we're doing it this time of year. A lot of people say you're doing it the wrong time of year, but for us it's the perfect time of year. Um, yeah, so this is the room we're in. Only one other person here. Uh, lovely lady from Korea. Come all the way from Korea just to do this. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, so I highly recommend this uh, alberga. It's uh, really 
Uh, really good, really good. Thoughts from today, Toria? Um, I'm just keeping the go warm and dry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, keep going, put one foot in front of the other. Yeah, and you did a great job of keeping him warm and dry today. He's completely dry and warm all the time, yeah? Yeah. Um, another thing about the albergers, what they say is it's a, it's it's a, it's it's only for the pilgrims to stay here. No one else can stay here but the pilgrims. Um, but what they say is it's not the pilgrims' right to stay here; it's the pilgrim privilege to stay here, which is a, a slight, uh, subtle difference, but it makes it makes a big difference in your your attitude um, to uh, to staying here as well. So we really appreciate being able to stay in such such a nice place. Yeah. So uh, please join us again for tomorrow as we make our way over the rest of the Pyrenees. And uh, we're actually just over the border now. We've passed from France into Spain. So now we're now in Spain. All right, see you tomorrow.